Hey guys, I'm Simone. Welcome to my channel, Simillion. Today I'll be showing you how to download Windows 10 trial ISOs um, directly from Microsoft. And these are completely legit. They're clean ISOs. And like I said, they are trials. I'm not providing any product key. After the 30 days is over for your trial, you have to purchase a license. Uh, so yes, I'm not giving away product keys. Uh, and this is 100% legit and free for 30 days. So you want to scroll down until you see this button that says download tool now it'll download a media creation tool which will then allow you to download the iso and once you have the tool downloaded mine just on my desktop because i just put it there for the purpose of this video but it'll probably be in your downloads folder so once you have it you just want to double click it it's going to ask for an add-in password and then it should open up the tool okay now here you want to click accept you want to select the button to create installation media for another PC. Select that, click next. Now uncheck this box that says use the recommended options for this PC, uncheck that. And that'll allow you to change the different languages, versions of Windows, 32-bit uh, or 64-bit. So just select your language. Uh, here for the addition, you have Windows 10, Windows 10 Home, and Windows 10 N. Windows 10 Home is just your simple Windows 10 Home for home use. It's just a basic version of Windows, uh, and it only works with one language, the language that you select up here. And then you have Windows 10 on top over here, which I think is Windows 10 Pro, uh, which will allow you to then change a the language later on in your Windows installation. Keep in mind that Windows 10 Home licenses are cheaper than Windows 10 Pro licenses. So then just select your desired version of Windows. I'm gonna take Windows 10 Pro. Then you wanna select your architecture, uh, which is either 64 or 32-bit or you can download uh, a combo ISO which has both 32 and 64 in one big ISO file and then once you boot up the ISO you can then choose between 32 and 64. Um, I'm going to go with 64 bit and then you want to click next. Here this is very important you want to select ISO file. Uh, this will allow you to save your ISO, your ISO file to your computer so you can use it in a virtual machine you can burn it to a DVD, you can create a bootable USB drive to install, you can even add it to your Windows Deployment Services server if you have one. Next you want to just click next and then you can just save it to wherever you want on your computer. I'm going to leave it in the documents uh, and then click save and it's going to start downloading. This usually takes me around 10 minutes but that's because my internet's pretty fast. I have a 60 megabit line um, and and yeah, uh, the file, the ISO file, is usually between 5 and 6 gigabytes. And one last point to touch on is that this page might not be live when you're watching this video. If you're watching this video uh, in two or three years from now. Uh, and so don't hate on me uh, because I gave a dead link or whatever. It's just this page is no longer available and the tool is probably no longer available too. If this page is dead... Just let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to sort it out for you. But if I can't, I'm sorry in advance. It's, it's something that's out of my control. All right, so that is pretty much it. And just to reiterate, I am not providing any product keys or license keys. Uh, you will have to go out and purchase that yourself. Oftentimes, if your computer already came with Windows 10 on it or you upgraded it to Windows 10 uh, during that first free year that it came out, uh, you will not need to purchase another license because you can just reinstall Windows and it'll automatically pick up that license from Microsoft servers. So yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I usually reply within two to three hours. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe for more content. I usually do a bunch of DJ live mixes and streams and more reviews and tutorials and tours of different setups and whatever. So stay tuned for those and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.